he's yeah. met me a few times in here. Yeah. So great, are you here now? I said, I'm here. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, so he's grand. I like the guy. Yeah, he's no. What afternoon, Sean? Is it? Does he present? Why didn't you see when he comes on the screen? Yeah. Although he's after getting very ancient looking the last, isn't he? He's gone grey and all. Yeah. You should tell that now. Mm. What's the name? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Sixty-nine in the series of Fizzy Quiz. Read your number. Page up sixty four two six A A. Recorded on the 29th of six ninety four. Transmission to be A. Studio One for another Fizzy Quiz and the teams this morning out front and indeed the audience here come from uh, Newtown National School, Kilcock in County Kildare. So let's take a look firstly at the prizes that we've got in store for you. Well, firstly for the schools, we've got the Collins English Dictionary and Study Box. There's five books from the Wolfhound Press. There's also books from the Dorling Kindersley Eyewitness Series, How the Body Works and How the Universe Works. There's a basketball for each contestant and there's a Grundig Beat by 250 personal stereo for the winners. How about that? Not bad at all. I've got some questions and indeed I'm going to meet the team in just a couple of seconds time. But before all that, here's Kevo. Thanks, Jerry. Yes, I'm over here a bit towards this morning. Oh, 11 o'clock, it's a bit early. The time. Oh, look at that. Oh, I suppose I better get on with the tricky targets. Hoops, frisbees, basketballs, and velcro rolls. We're each team 15 seconds to play the game. So, without further ado, let's go and meet Jerry Hughes with the teams. Don't do that. Yes, here I am. I've got two teams with me, and uh, we've got the yellow and we've got the red. So, I will go to the reds first, OK? Let's meet the reds. This is Paul and Mark. Hi to both of you. Paul, how are you doing? Fine. Tell me about yourself. Um, my hobbies are um, karate and basketball and swimming and football. Karate, basketball, swimming and football. Yes. Tell me about the karate. Is it, is it good? Do you do much of it? Yes. Yeah? Uh, what kind of stuff do you do? Um, show me. Show me one. Show me, show me a point. Tell me what it is. What, what's this? It's a reverse punch. A reverse punch. Does that mean like that? No. No. You, should, you know. I'll stand here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> reverse punch. I don't, I don't think we'll ask him too many more questions except for... Say hello to some people there. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to my mother and father, my aunties and uncles, and my friends, and everybody who knows me. OK, that's grand. You'd cover them all there. Well done, Mark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, Paul. Hello, Mark. You see, I'm oh. wrecked after that. How are you doing? All right. Oh, so uh, tell me about yourself. I hope you don't, oh, don't do karate, <laughs> do you? No. No, so what do you do in your spare time? Um, swimming, football, and reading. Swimming. What do you like to read? Karate books? Um, <laughs> Um, adventure books. Okay, so you like adventure films then, I take it, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can look into that camera there and say hello to some people at home. I'd like to say hello to my um, my mum, my dad and my grandparents. Okay, that's grand. You can't forget the grandparents. Granny mm -hmm. and granddad. That's it. Okay, so that's uh, Mark and Paul. They are the red team. And hopefully nobody does karate or tap dance or anything like that over this side. Um, but we've got the yellow team, Geraldine and Charlene. Geraldine, how are you? Grand, thanks. That's good. Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I'm in sixth class and I'm 12 years of age. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only girl in my class. The only girl? Yes. And those boys look you, what? Hmm? <laughs> yes, So, very. what's it like? Are they, are they nice to you now? Do they do yeah, everything for really you? Nice. Do they do your homework for you as well? Sometimes. Oh, that's cool. That's grand. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, say hello to some people at um, home. I'd like to say hello to my family and Arlene and Mary, Donna Walsh and Eileen Mar. Okay, that's grand. And uh, Charlene, how are you? Fine, thank you. Are you the only girl in your class? No. No, loads of, loads of boys and girls in your class. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your hobbies and stuff. I play camogie and go swimming. Swimming? Okay, that's grand. I go swimming once a week just to have to wash myself, actually. Bring in a bottle of shampoo into the pool. Yeah, nothing like it. OK, so um, do you want to say hello to some people at home? Um, my mum and dad and everybody <coughs> knows me. That's grand. That's grand. OK, so Charlene and Geraldine, they're the yellow team. Yeah! 
<laughs> kind of wrecked after that uh, punch. What was it called again? Oh. OK, here we go. We've got a uh, round one, and what happens here in round one is that I ask some questions. They've got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as they can, and when their time is up, they'll hear this sound. <coughs> oh. And um, they get two points for each correct answer. OK, so firstly, we go to Paul and Mark there, the red team, and your 30 seconds start from now. What kind of animal was Jaws in the film of the same name? Shark. It was a shark, indeed. Uh, what story features the Tin Man, Dorothy, and a dog called Wizard Toto? Of Wizard of Oz. Uh, Nasher. Uh, was the partner of which comic character? Pass. Oh, it's Dennis the Menace. Uh, when King Midas touched something, what did it turn into? Gold. Gold. Mm -hmm. What is the main ingredient of yogurt? Milk. Yeah. Uh, which part of a computer is called the VDU? Is it the keyboard or the monitor? The monitor. Mm -hmm. Name any of the three official. <coughs> Name any of the three official languages of Switzerland. Any of the three. French. Yeah. That'll do me. French, German or Italian I would have taken there. Well done, the red team. We turn to the yellow team. OK, and same thing applies for you. You've got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. And your time starts now. What is a Venus flytrap? Um, pass. It's a plant. What is three quarters of 100? 75. Mm -hmm. True or false? The body is made up of 60% water. True. It's true. I heard that first, so I'll take it. In which country is the city of Bonn? Uh, Germany. Uh huh. Um, what was the name of the unsuitable ships the Irish emigrants travelled to America on during the famine? Um, pass. The coffin ships. Which is longer, the Suez? <coughs> which is longer, the Suez or the Panama can Canal? Panama Canal. It's actually the other one. It's over twice the length. Okay, so not to worry about that because things can happen uh, here for the for the uh, tricky targets. But firstly, let's look at the score, and we see that the red team have twelve points, and the yellow team have six points. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so as I said, lots and lots of things can happen right now as we firstly ask the red team to make their way down to Kevo for the tricky targets. Okay, red team, Mark and Paul, down you come. You go as many hoops as you can. I'll explain the game. Very simple. Fifteen seconds and five points for every hoop they're going to want. Loads of cheering from the audience. Loads and loads. Are you ready, red team? Mark and Paul, your fifteen seconds start from now. Three, away you go. Away they go. Keep going. Oh, I'm on the knee. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, I'm lucky there. Can they get one on? Keep going. Yeah. Oh, yes. They get one on. They have five points. And we've got five seconds left. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Time is up, time is up, time is up. You can get ready with the Velcro balls. And as you can see, they just managed to get one hoop on, which means a five points. Second game now for the red team. Velcro balls, 15 seconds. One point for every ball of sticks. Are you ready? Red team, Mark and Paul, your time starts now. Away you go. Away they go, away go the red team. And they've got one point so far. They've got their new man, they've got Schrader. Sticking that one just barely came out. We've six seconds left. Six seconds, time is going now. Three seconds, two, one. Time's up. You can get ready with the frisbees and I'll take a look. Scott, we've got one point. Two, three, four, five, six, and finally we have seven points. We now move on to the frisbees. Fifteen seconds. Five points for every frisbee to get in those holes. Are you ready? Red team, Mark and Paul, your time starts now. Away you go. Three, away they go. Away go the red team. Can they get any points in one there? Just too away, too away. you got to get a little off. Too much shot. Oh, yes, and another good shot there from Paul. Yes, and again. Going away, Paul is here on this one. Constant look at concentration. They're doing good. Time is up, time's up. You can get ready with the basketballs and I feel of a big job here. We have four points. Yup, we have ten points. We have fifteen points. Twenty. And finally, right at the back, we have twenty-four points. Give them a round of applause there. Well done, Red Team, and Paul and Mark. Still not the highest yet, but it's a very good score. Are you ready, Red Team? Mark and Paul, away you go, it's the basketball, away they go. Two points taken down. Yes, there's two points, two points. Can they make it four? Can they be ten seconds left? No, I'm unlucky. Yeah, oh no, just missing. Just missing. Can they? Yes, there's four points. Six, it's six points. Eight, eight points. We have eight points. And time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Red team, you can go back to your place. Give them a round of applause there, brilliant. And it's the turn of the two girls on the L team. Charlene and Geraldine, you have a lot to do, girls. Are you ready? Yellow team, 20 sec 15 seconds on the hoops. Are you ready? Your time starts now. Away you go, away you go, red team. The yellow team, sort of. Can they get anyone? They can do with a hoop on here. A bit harder, a bit harder. Keep going, keep going. You've only got five seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 
Time is up, time is up. You can get ready with Velcro Balls and we check the hoop sport and we see that they fell score. Not to worry, three games left. Velcro Balls is next 15 seconds and one point for every ball to stick. So are you ready? Yell team, your time starts now. Away you go, away you go the yellow team. Can they get one point so far? Can they make it two? They've got two, they have two. They've got three now and we're moving along to the end. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. And you can get ready with the Frisbees. Good scoring here. We've got one point, two, three, four, and finally we've got four points. Next game, it's the Frisbees. 15 seconds. Four points for every Frisbee. Get in those holes. Are you ready? Yelting, Charlie and Geraldine, your time starts now. Away you go. Away they go. Oh, well, look, he just comes out. Oh, very close again. Just got to go two get one in here. Four, three, two. Up. You can get ready with the basketballs. I check in here. And it's not too bad either. We have five points. And finally, we have ten points. Good scoring there, yell team. Final game now for you. It's the basketball. It's 15 seconds. Two points for every basket. Are you ready? You're a long way behind. You need a good score here. Yell team. Charlene, Charlene, away you go. Away they go. Can they get any points? Charles and Floyd here. And away we go. We got seven seconds left. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Four. That's four points. Two. One. Time is up, yellow team. You can go back to your place. Give them a round of applause. They're brilliant. Oh, I think the lads just got it. Let's go over to Jerry to find out. Yeah, this is how the score looks because uh, the red team have 57 points and the yellow team have 27 points. <laughs> So, Reds, it looks like we're going to be meeting you guys, Paul and Mark, in a couple of minutes' time for uh, the head to head. Okay? And uh, Geraldine and Charlene, that's the way it goes, isn't it, really? And you did so well in rehearsals, but not to worry, because for coming along today, there's a basketball for you, and Charlene, there's a basketball for you. A round of applause for the yellow team. Okay, so we're back in just a second when the black team play the green team. For round two and two new teams for you to meet but firstly we go over here to the right hand side and we meet the black team and we've got Ronan and Tomas. Hi, hi guys, how's it going? Yeah. You well? Thanks. Yeah? You're all in great form <laughs> today. So are you looking forward to this? Yeah. yeah. Do you think you're going to win? I don't know. Yeah, so you give it your best shot anyway. Yeah. So tell, me, tell me about your hobbies. What do you do after um, school or football on Saturdays? And play with my friends. Sometimes. Yeah, that's great. Have you many friends? Two, yeah. Oh, that's grand. So say hello to some people. Um, that camera I say there. hello to my Family, friends, and everybody who knows me. Perfect. Okay, and Tomas, how about you? <laughs> um, my hobbies are. What? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay, private joke, is it? <laughs> um, my hobbies are swimming and playing keyboards. Playing and keyboards. Football. Yeah, what do you play on the keyboards? Um, What's your favourite tune on the keyboards? Don't mind really. No, I just play everything and anything. Mm. I suppose you keep your parents up all night with that thing. <laughs> all night, do you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Grant, so uh, say hello to uh, your family there and friends. My mother, my father, my brothers and sisters, Robert White, and my cousin who's taken part to the Jersey Rose and the Rose Chile. Oh, well, best of luck to your uh, cousin. What's her name? Therese Walsh. Therese Walsh, best of luck to you and the Rose and Trally. Okay, so Tomas and uh, Ronan, they are the black team. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so here we go to the green team at this side, and we've got Kevin and Michael. How are you, Kevin? Hiya. How's it going? Fine. Yeah, well, ten fingers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm all there. So, uh, any news now? No. no. Right. You were telling me, actually, at rehearsal that you had a joke for me. What? Um, did you hear about the Kerryman who got water skis for Christmas? No. He's still looking around for a lake with a slope. <laughs> the poor Kerryman. <laughs> OK, so say hello to some of your family there. I would say hello to all my relations and my family and Joseph Dooley. Who's Joseph Dooley? My best friend. Aha, you have to you have to look after the best friends. I suppose he gave you a fiver for that, did he? Uh, Michael, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so um, tell me about yourself. Um, my hobbies are Gaelic and reading. Gaelic and reading. What do you like to read? Um, adventure books. Ah, grand. Okay, so uh, say hello to some of your family there in that I'd like camera. Say, I'd like to say hello to my, my mother and my father and my brothers and my sisters and everybody who knows me. That's perfect. Okay, Michael and Kevin, the green team. Now, it's much the same as what we saw in round one, except for two different teams and some different questions. So, uh, they got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as they can. They get two points for each correct answer. When their time is up, they'll hear this. <laughs> Thank you, Kieran. And uh, we turn to the back team first, Ronan and Tomas. And your time starts now. 
What sign of the zodiac is represented by a bull? Taurus. Yeah. True or false, O'Connell Street used to be called Sackville Street. True. It is true. What do the letters UN stand for? United Nations. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the Irish word for ball? Uh, Leroy. Uh -huh. Who plays the lead role in Beverly Hills Cop? Uh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Uh, what is the more common name for a piano forte? Uh, it's a piano. True or false? <laughs> I started, so I'll finish. True or false? Cheese is a dairy product. True. true. It is true. Well done to you, lads. Okay, as we turn to the green team, and same thing applies to you. Your 30 seconds start now. With which sport do you associate Frank Bruno? Boxing. Mm -hmm. What is 8 plus 7 plus 6? Uh, 21. 21. Um, where are we? Yeah, who painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci. Mm -hmm. uh, can an ostrich fly? No. 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 How many strings are there on a normal acoustic guitar? Six. Uh huh. What bird has a red breast? Robin. Robin. Right. Uh, which angel told Mary she was going to give birth? Gabriel. True or false? <coughs> true or false? A pine tree is, a, is coniferous. True. It is true. Well done to you, lads. OK, so we look at the score at the end of that round, and we see that the blacks have 14 points and the greens have 16 points. <laughs> well done indeed. So now let's find out what happens as we asked uh, the black team, firstly, to go down to Kevo for the tricky targets. OK, black team, down you come. Only two points in it. Grab as many hoops as you can. 15 seconds and five points for every hoop again. Ho every hoop you get on. Are you ready? Want loads of cheering from the audience. 15 seconds and your time starts now. Away you go. <laughs> Time is up, time is up, time is up. You can get ready to Velcro balls and let's take a look at the score on the hoops and we see that they failed the score. Next game, it is the Velcro balls. 15 seconds and one point for every ball that sticks. Are you ready? Tomas and Ronan, your time starts now. Away you go. Away they go, the back team. We have 3.4. 4.4 fire. 9 seconds, 8. 8, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5, 4 seconds, 3, 2, Time is up. You can get ready with the Frisbees. Well, we take a look at the score. We've got one point. We've got two, three, four, five, six, and finally we have seven points. We now move on to the Frisbees. Fifteen seconds. Five points for every Frisbee to get in those holes. Are you ready? Black team to Moss and Ronan. Away you go. Away you go to Black team. Can they get any points? We wonder. Close, close. Lucky there. Can they get any in? Oh, look again. Can they get any? Five, four, three, two, one. Four. Time's up, you can get ready with the basketballs. And we check in here and we see that they failed the score on the frisbees. You can get ready with the basketballs there, Tomas. Failed the score on the frisbees and they also failed the score there on the hoop. So the five markers proving difficult for the black team. Okay, your final chance to get some points, black team. Tomas and Ronan, away you go, away you go the black team. Away they go, can they get any points? Two points, two points so far. We have two points on, no, we nearly four. We never won a race, so yes, there's four points on this. Six, six, six points, six points. Can we make it eight? Six, two, one. Time is up. Black team, you can go back to your place. Give them a round of applause there, brilliant. And down come the green team, Kevin and Michael. The green team, Kevin and Michael, you're up next on the hoops. 15 seconds and five points every hoop you get on. So are you ready? Green team, Kevin and Michael, your time starts now. Where you go? Where you go, the green team? Can they get any points? Just not throwing them high enough. Yeah, good shot, good shot there. And we've got eight seconds left. Five seconds. And time is up, time is up, time is up. You can get ready with the Velcro balls. And as you can see, we've just got the one hoop, which means five points. Good shooting there. And we move now onto the second game for the green team. It is the Velcro balls. 15 seconds and one point for every ball six. Are you ready? Green team, your time starts now. Away you go, away you go, the green team. Keep going, green team. We've two points so far. You only need six points out of your last three games. You should get it. Four, three seconds. Two, one. Time is up, time is up. You can get ready with the Frisbees and we take a look, Scott. We've got one point, we've got two, and finally we've got, right in the hole, three points. We now move, oh no, there's another one. And that means four points. We now move on to the Frisbees, 15 seconds, and five points for every Frisbee getting this hole. Are you ready? Green team, away you go, Kevin and Michael, away they go. Away you go, the green team, Kevin and Michael, can't they get any in? Close, close there, yeah, there's five points. There's 10, there's 15. 15 points so far, can't they get any more? With five, second, four, three. 
So aim is up. You can get ready with the basketballs. Are we checking here? We've got five points. We, right, we've got 10 points. Very close to me, we've got 15. We've also got another here, which makes 20. And finally, right at the back, uh, just barely reach it. We've got 25 points. Give them a round of applause, there for that. Great score on Kevin and Michael. Final game now of the second round, tricky targets. Green team, are you ready? Kevin and Michael, away you go on the bass walls, away they go. There's four points already. We have six, eight, ten, ten, ten points so far. Can they make it any more? Yes, it's 14, 14. 14 doing brilliant, here we have four. Three, two, one. Green team, you can go back to your place. Give them a round of applause, everyone. Well done, Green team. An excellent round of tricky targets there by the green team. They've got a huge score. Let's go off to Jerry to find out what that huge score is. Great round indeed because we have the blacks on 27 and we have the greens on 68. <laughs> and the two lads were just standing there, the two black guys, looking at everything. All the frisbees going in there. Oh, no, we've lost it. But not to worry, you haven't lost everything because you've got a basketball each, OK? So, Ronan, there's a basketball for you. And Tomas, there's a basketball for you. A round of applause for the black team. So, Greens, it looks like you guys are going through to the head-to-head. -head. So, well done to you, Kevin, and to Michael. So, speaking of the head-to-head, -head, we're going to be back with that next when the Reds play the Greens. One, two, three, four. Yeah, here we are for round three. It's the final round. It's the head-to-head. -head. Now, what happens during this round is there's two parts, but the first one is a visual round with some questions, and the second part is where the teams go down to Kevo for the final tricky target. OK? So, firstly, we look to the green team, and welcome back, Michael and Kevin. Hi, guys. Yeah. OK, nice to have you back again. And uh, if you look at the screen in front of you, you see there a rugby ball. OK? So, I've got some questions for you now. How many players are there on a rugby team? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ireland, England and Wales compete with each other in which rugby event? Um, Five Nations or Triple Crown. Triple Crown, I'll take that from you, good man. Uh, true or false, Twickenham is England's national rugby stadium. True. Sorry? True. It is, good man yourself. OK, so we turn to the red team and welcome back Paul and Mark. And if you look at the screen there in front of you, you'll see a banana, OK? A very ripe uh, banana. Um, what animal do you often associate uh, with bananas? Monkeys. Do indeed. Is a banana a citrus fruit? Mm, yes. No. <laughs> what colour are bananas before they are ripened? Green. green. They are indeed. Well done to you. As we turn back to the green team once again, and if you look at the screen in front of you, you see this guy, Ray Darcy. OK. So what afternoon show on Network 2 does he present? The Den. Den. Does. What is the name of the turkey who co-presents it? Dustin. Dustin. Yeah, far be far be far, right? OK, Dustin Hoffman. And what quiz programme does Ray present? Blackboard Jungle. Yeah, absolutely correct. Well done to the Greens. As we turn once again to the Reds. And if you look at this picture, and I think there's going to be some screams when this picture comes up, no? No, there's not, OK. <laughs> Obviously, no Take That fans. <laughs> right, so that's Take That. And uh, can you name one of their albums? Mm. <laughs> Obviously, not Take That fans, boys. No? no? You can't. Well, not to worry. OK. Uh, which one of these is not a Take That song? Pray, All Right or Babe? All Right. Yeah, because All Right was... Um, he's 17. OK. So now, can you name one of the band members of Take That? Mark Owen. Mark? That'll do me if you said her, Jason, Mark, Robbie or Gary. You would have got it. And you said Mark. So well done to you, the Reds. OK. So let's take a look at the score after that round. And we see that the Greens have 30 points and the Reds have 20 points. <laughs> So what happens now is we go to part um, two of round three, and this is where we ask both teams to go to Kevo for the final, final tricky target. Yes, yes, we're back here with the final part of this week's Susie Quiz, and there's only ten points in it between the red team and between the green team. So first of all, I'd like to call down Kevin from the green team and Mark from the red team. Give them a round of applause. Give them a cheer. And I will explain the rules. The rules are very, very simple. The old Mark Kevin from the Green Team is going to try to do, he's going to try and throw as many Velcro balls as he can. Everyone that sticks to the board behind me, he gets five points, OK? And here's the snag. The snag is Mark. He's going to try and stop them. Just bring the basket back a little, because that's the disadvantage. You've got to keep going back and back. OK, keep two in your hand at all time. 30 seconds, starting from now. Away you go. Three, Give them a minute, Jane. Come on. And here's one on already. That's the way. Yes, good tuning there. 
30 seconds going through. Can he get in there? We've got, that's the way through, two of the toys with 18 seconds. Yeah, good shot, good shot there. Good shot there from Kevin. Kevin, and we've got 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Turn the ball, players. You can go back to your seats. You go back to your seats. Well, I count the score, and it's not a bad score either. First of all, we've got a Velcro ball here, which makes five points for the green team. We've got a second here, which makes ten points. Over here, we've got a Tord, which makes fifteen points. And finally, we've got a four. Twenty points for the green team. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Mark, Paul, oh, there we go. And Michael, Michael, you're in goal this time. Okay, we've got our two next players. Okay, we've got Michael for the greens, and we've got Marks, Paul for the reds. Paul, you have a lot to do. You need a six on for a toy. It's a lot to ask. 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Where you go, where you go? Can you get any on? Oh, look at there, keep doing your hands. Keep going, keep going. Time ticking away. Keep going, we've got going from now. Doing a great job there and going, Michael is. Keep going. Ticking down. Keep going, we've only got seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Time is up. Both players can go back to the seats. Give them a round of applause, they're brilliant. <laughs> Let us take a look at the red team score. Let's take a look at the red team score. Firstly, right down here, not too bad. We've got five points. And finally, over here, we've got ten points. Give the red team a round of applause, they're brilliant. And Jerry here has the final final score. Yeah, Kevin's gonna have to get the prize and we'll have the other two teams that were on earlier back in just a second as well. But before all that, let's look at the final score today and we see that the green team have 50 points and the red team have 30 points. Yeah, so we've got the prize. Here he is, here he is. Hold on for a second. Like, I will oh, indeed, yeah. Strong man. Okay, okay, for the school alert, we've got the books that Jerry mentioned at the start of the programme. Uh, everyone who takes part, the greens, the uh -huh. yellows, the blacks and the reds, they get a basketball each. And for our winning team, who of course, we're the green team, Kevin and uh, Kevin and Mark, you get the Grundig Beat Boy 250 personal stay each. Well done, lads. There you go. Give them a round of applause. There, well done, lads. This is what's going on. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually holding the books to me bad arm, so can you take them back I'll there? Take because them, I'll take them. Paul felt like I mean awful going over a little earlier on. Listen, that's all for this week's Fizzy Quiz, but we're back again next week for more fun and games, so we'll see you then. See you next week. Everyone, come down. <laughs>